Freeman out there. What's happening? This video gonna be about that old Oreo cookie known as Morgan Freeman. Yeah, I don't like the term African American, and I don't like to celebrate Black History Month. <laughs> you know Hollywood and that bag. I don't know if it's the cocaine. I don't know what's up. He is one of the greatest actors ever, and has a voice that's very distinctive. And as a little boy, I used to watch The Electric Company. Of course, I remember this episode when he married his baseball glove, and that may have been one of the things that kind of led him astray. Or was it driving Miss Daisy? I wonder. Play Glory with Denzel Washington, Runaway Slaves. He's been in a lot of black movies. Yeah. He is seen as a black actor. Yeah. He's not seen white. He's had crossover appeal but he's very black. And his, you know, he's, he's no mistake in his features at 85, and the Lord has blessed him to live a long life, but just saying. We have Black History Month because this racist country will not acknowledge black people every day. Who wrote the rules, Morgan Freeman? You want to come out here and get mad, hold it against G. Carter Woodson, who discovered for Black History Week, because we had a time we had no acknowledgement. If we don't have something to remind of the past, we have no present. If we don't talk about Tulsa, Oklahoma from 100 years ago, we have no present. If we don't talk about the civil rights movement of the 60s, we have no present. If we don't talk about Black Lives Matter and all the young black folks that have been shot at and Colonel Ralph Yearly, which just happened this past month, George Floyd, Trayvon Martin, and we go to Emmett Till. And I'm sure, Morgan Freeman, you're very familiar with Emmett Till's story. I'm quite sure, down south, I'm quite sure you are. Unless you're just going to tell me that, oh, that just went over your head by the wayside. See, when you shuffling, you cooning, and you out here tap dancing, you say anything. Because you want to get the chocolate chip on your cookie. You're going to be the good Oreo. You're going to double dip your cookie into the white milk. And I tell you something. I'm going to say this again. Like I always say, it ain't about who people who are with. Because if you, if you use your blackness and you lose who you are, I don't care where you are. Hollywood only likes you if you're making the bag. Okay? You get this pseudo acceptance. You're not ever accepted. But you've been so used to working in an industry where master didn't always just say, well, do this, boy, and do this and that. That is what you get used to. And that's what it comes down to. Now, I'm going to say this. <laughs> if we lived in a fair world, we live in a world where there were reparations. We live in a world where there were more than just one black president in a lifetime or black female white people. Like, we didn't have the ones... You know, we talk about Jackie Robinson breaking the color line in baseball 76 years ago. And Morgan Freeman, you're 85 years old, so you saw this. So what are you talking about? You've been around Jim Crow all your life. The master must be really good to you to say that. You don't like the term African-American. Well, we are the continents of both. We're not accepted by neither one, though. America doesn't, America still looks at us as slaves, and Africa ain't never tried to come back to get us. So we stuck with blood in both lines, and of course all through Europe. But they still feel that it's a need to make us to get a passport to go somewhere, even though they didn't profit and made money and just spurred us all over. Because, yeah, when you say Africa is a continent like Europe, well, yeah, I got uh, British contacts and Wales, a bloodline. Ain't gonna never find out who that is. You know, but that's the reality. We all over. But from across the shore. But see, if you wanna be a, you wanna be like, you wanna generalize and downplay it, come with some hardcore facts to such that. Don't be like you're trying to downplay the blackness. Unless they got you always stretched out like a Oreo cookie. And they got Morgan Freeman sound like he been tap dancing with Clarence Thomas on one of them yachts or shuffling with Terry Crews or Candace Owens or something, because I, 
Morgan Freeman sounds like he definitely got his shoes. He's like, do I, do I. He grinning and shuffling. And you do a disservice when you don't speak, you know, say why you don't like the term African American and say why you don't like the about Black History Month. But don't just say it out like we should, like it's, oh, we're going to be silent and not say nothing because that's what the mass and these hateful people want. That's the problem. We don't only race of people that can't ever tell the truth about what's the truth. And they always say the truth shall set you free. But this racist country don't want it. And some of the ones who get get swayed by the massa are afraid because massa might cut their check in half. Massa might say, you're not a good actor no more, boy. You're not a good boy no more. You know. I guess driving Miss Daisy got him all <laughs> tongue-tied and just lost all his soul. I don't know. I hold, I, this is why I always separate the art from the person. Separate the man from the music, the man from the movies. He's a great actor and got a distinctive voice. But as a soul brother, he's an Oreo cookie. That turkey, black on the outside, but plenty white on the inside. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch up for another shit if you want to. Sad to say a lot of the Oreo cookie is still alive and well. Because if it wasn't, there's no way in the world folks would tolerate the racism and the second class citizen and the glass ceiling institutionalized systematic racism that America with three K's still throws. That's why we got to say it loud, be black and proud. Morgan, you can know my whole yard. You can be a lost one. I'm out.